Okay, good afternoon everybody. Happy Monday. It is Monday, right? My name is Full Frontal Exposure. This is my podcast. This is new. I'm first time podcaster. This channel is going to be dedicated to exposing corruption within the institution of the church. More focused around religious cults, destructive nature of cults, possibly money laundering, things like that that are going on. The first issue I'm going to talk about today, how I got involved with what I'm doing, is the David E. Taylor deposition that's famous on YouTube. Sure, if you've came across it or you watched it and saw how much of a shit show it was, you're wondering, what the hell did I just watch? Like everybody else. The last year and a half, I've been on my channel. It's called Full Frontal Exposure. And I've been actively filing fraud against this organization, reporting them to the IRS because they have not filed their taxes. They keep moving money around, buying mansions, houses, all at the same time while saying they can heal people of all these sicknesses and diseases and ailments, yet no proof has been given. So here we are. The deposition was in 2017, if everybody remembers. That's when it hit the platform on YouTube. If everybody remembers what David did, he sat through there and just said, Ask Michelle. Ask Michelle. That's all he could say. That's right, I said it. Just ask Michelle. A couple years later, a few years later down the road, we get Michelle's deposition. And Michelle says, Ask Ashley. Or ask LaMarcia. Or Bashira. So at this point... We know, we know they're lying about where the money is, okay? This guy says he's got Bentleys and Range Rovers, a Mercedes that was cut into a limo. Yet he's showing no financial records, very minimal financial records. Yet he's saying he's bringing in hundreds of millions of dollars to finance his, his church, his, his ministry. But all his volunteers are, are paid vol- or unpaid volunteers. No W-2s. There's nothing on file. Switch in names. At what point does the government get involved here, everybody? At what point does the government say, hold up. We need to see where all this money's coming from. I've been, I've been actively filing fraud against this organization for the last year. There's a form that I fill out once a week. It's called a 3949A. And what it does, it's to report an uh, organization that I believe is doing deceptive practices. And I believe that JMMI, Kingdom of God Global Church, Joshua Media Ministries, whatever you want to call it, they have, sev- they have several names now. Several names. I'm not sure anyone's more real than the next. <clears throat> so we have uh, Kingdom of God Global Church, all right? Joshua Media Ministries International. We also have... The one they just filed for recently, which is Marvels in America World Healing, right? And then you also have Joshua Media or Resurrection Media Ministries, which is the one that was briefly mentioned in his deposition about the one that he bankrupted. Right now, just recently actually, about in April, mid-April, this cult, this place is a cult by the way, everybody. It's not a church. It's a full-blown destructive religious cult. I have... I am under firm belief they are laundering money, big time. Not only laundering money, there's narcotics coming in and out of this place. Cryptocurrency is being accepted. PayPal, Cash App, Zelle, everything. Everything points to this organization being a destructive religious cult. There's no accountability. We don't see the leader anymore, ever. We haven't seen David in almost two years, year and a half. Coming up on a year, actually, I'm sorry year since his since his birthday <clears throat> all the time the cult is putting out new these videos that they say are new videos but they're gas david e taylor is gaslighting all of his followers <clears throat> and how he does this it's just it's all a form of mind control that's right i said it <clears throat> And it's all information control. Information control, mind control. I'm doing this podcast because I was actually encouraged by one of my channel subscribers 
to do a podcast on David and just maybe get the word out a little bit more. It, I'm, I'm kind of at the point where I know we're fighting an uphill battle with, with this organization, 100%, because it's the church. <clears throat> the government doesn't want to get involved because it is the church. All right. Last time I checked, though, I pay my taxes to the government and not the church. Why isn't the government stepping up to these organizations that they know are pushing money, public interest, or not public interest, but the interest of the government? Absolutely. These, I mean, look at Kenneth Copeland, Jesse Duplantis, Joel Osteen. You look at all these people, we know they're laundering money. Joel Osteen had found had six hundred thousand dollars found in his wall recently, probably three four months ago. Some plumber was in there doing work at his Lakewood church in in Houston. Fucking plumber finds six hundred thousand dollars that was reported missing, right? Missing or stolen, several like six or seven years earlier. What's gone on with that? Nothing. They just push it aside. That's a that's a money crime. That money was reported in a crime as missing or stolen. And at the time, there were only four people who had keys to the safe. So think about that. $600,000, what would happen if me or you, average tax-paying citizen, blue-collar worker, making 15, 20, 30 bucks an hour, you know, it's a, so you got two kids, wife, you know, a third on the way, working medium-income family home, what would happen if you withheld $600,000 from the IRS and didn't report it? What would happen to you? What would happen to me? Would we be held would we be held accountable to that? That's right, I said. Or would the government just push it aside like they do did with Joel Osteen? With David the fact that he hasn't filed his taxes in years lets me know that he's definitely got money to hide. Why would he not file? The last time we have any kind of information on, on file for David E. Taylor is 2017, I believe. Yeah, 2017, give or take. 17, yeah, so five years he has, we don't see any new taxes. And by law, even though he is a church, right, he does have those, he is, there are those specialty loopholes for the church, right? It's just all bullshit anyways. It's all bullshit. These loopholes and tax laws that the church have, it's all a fucking part of the big money laundering machine that the government dips into. <laughs> Just my opinion, remember. Everybody's opinion is a lie according to David. But we don't file our taxes, jump around names, you know, buy big mansions, you know, pull loans from really shady loan sharks down in Tampa, Florida. Or, yeah, Tampa Bay, Florida, I believe. Um, or Miami Beach, I'm sorry. David pulled a. This cult recently pulled a uh, $4.9 million loan from a shady real estate firm down in Florida by the name of Crosby Capital USA. The owner of this LLC, this Crosby Capital, Jan L. Devico, is actually tied up in some court cases for, for financial crimes. So David's tied up with this Yano Devico, pulls a $4.9 million loan, probably a really high interest rate, an overinflated rate, no doubt. Because David can't get any bank loans, because that would then hold him accountable to money crimes, which I know, a lot of my channel followers know, that David is in no doubt committing these huge money laundering crimes. He just bought an $8.3 million home down in Florida. He's already got three up in Chesterfield. What's he need a fourth one for? Sounds like he's trying to maximize as many deductions as he can with all these big mansions. But the house he bought down in Florida recently, the $8.3 million mansion, he bought it from the Buccaneers ex-coach, it sounds like. Those houses are, I mean, that, that, those houses are just his attempt to, to move money through real estate. To launder the money, to clean it, to keep it off the government books, 
show it as a as a church asset or a liability. <clears throat> We haven't seen David in, in, in since last year, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. It makes me start to wonder, is he actually still alive anymore? <clears throat> he claims to be this great prophet and apostle. And this is, I know I'm kind of all over the place today. I'm kind of new to the podcast thing. I do a YouTube channel, but I feel kind of different from the subscribers. I'm here to expose these cults <clears throat> by whatever means necessary. The name Full Frontal Exposure comes from, it was earlier on a channel member by the name of Bitterness Barbie. Um, we were sitting around one day and we were talking about what to call the channel. And came around, exposure, exposed, full frontal, full frontally exposed, exposed, you know, we're throwing those things around and Full Frontal Exposure came out. And the reason I, it's has nothing to, no, there's no sex, nothing sexual about this channel at all, except there's cussing. Never will call out genitalia or anything like that, though. You won't hear that. <clears throat> if these churches are so transparent with their money, why aren't they? Like, if they have nothing to hide, why don't they open up their books to us? So I figured I'd be here to help them with that. Because they're supposed to be opening their books to the public. They are public entities, but somewhere, somewhere, somehow, they're protected by the government. Whenever it comes time for them to be held accountable, they're being persecuted against. Not being held accountable, but persecuted. I don't feel we're persecuting them. I feel they just need to act, just be held accountable for what they're doing. I know for a fact that David's running a money laundering sex cult. I know for a fact. I know there's drugs in the cult. Illicit and prescription. Mostly David's eating them. Mostly David. Not so much the members, but David. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about this, again, I know this is a first time podcast. But I'm here to expose these cults. I'm not religious. I don't get anything out of this. I'm not trying to favor God or get my way out of hell or whatever the case is. I definitely have my beliefs. I wouldn't say I'm religious. But I have my beliefs. I'm not here to tell people what to believe in God, how to believe in God, what God to believe in. Merely just to point out the, the manipulation tactics and the scams that go on behind most of these prosperity ministers that operate here in America and worldwide. They're not just here in America. Not just here. They're all over the place. We'll also, we're also going to dive into some other cult leaders. Catherine Crick. She is also a cult leader. She is on the rise right now. So we'll talk about her. Talk about... Kenneth Copeland, how he turns his not-for-profit into a for-profit business in Texas by buying up land, cattle, gas lines. Got all these private jets and stuff. When he was asked for his books, he basically told the government to fuck off. I wish I wish I could tell the government. I wish I could tell the government when they come want to come look at my books. I wish I could just tell them to fuck off. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't you like for one year to not pay your taxes and, I don't know, maybe hide $600,000 in your wall and then get caught with it and nothing happened to you? Talk about separation of church and state or the lack thereof. All the evangelicals that are tied up in the government, all the money. Billions of dollars are going through these big mega churches, everybody. These churches have the power to influence elections, sway voters, everything. I look forward to more pod for more casts like this, more podcasts. Follow my channel on YouTube, Full Frontal Exposure. If you guys have any questions or comments, by all means, message me, let me know. And um, until then, you guys stay safe. And uh, David E. Taylor, 
you are a piece of shit.